Hey folks, today let's talk ears and eyes. Two things that we need to protect while we're on the range, while we're shooting, while we're practicing, while we're training, okay? Your ears, once they're gone, they're gone. You're gonna be, so we wanna limit as much exposure to loud noises as possible. I'm showing you guys two types of ear protection that I personally use. I use active impact sports earmuffs. What they allow me to do is when I have them on and I turn them on, it allows me to talk to you in a comfortable voice as I'm speaking to you right now. The, non, the, the passive earmuffs, you have to yell. You have to talk to your, if you're at, at the range with a friend or in a class or something, you're going to be talking very loud, yelling at the person that's with you. Um, if you're an instructor or you're a student, you're yelling back and forth to each other. It can make it very uncomfortable uh, and it can just, it, it makes life easier in my opinion to have active noise canceling earmuffs. So I can talk to you like this and as soon as the earmuffs recognize a very loud sound, it goes into noise canceling. So I don't hear the active pow, pow, pow. If we're talking like this, I hear every word that I, that's being spoken to me by the other person. If we're having a face-to-face -face conversation, I can hear you, you can hear me if you're wearing the same type of ear protection. So this is what I use and what I recommend. I have a few different sets of these. And what I like about these also, if I'm out the range by myself, sometimes I wanna hear a little music. <laughs> it does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter here so I can actually attach it to my phone or to an mp3 player um, so I can listen to music during my time at the range. Uh, ladies, for you ladies that wear earrings, these have been known to push upon your ear and the earring so you might want to look for something that has a more substantial inside cuff area to cover your ear to allow for earrings or you might want to look at a different option of, of ear protection altogether. Uh, one that I use, that I, this is what I grew up with. I grew up with straight up in ear, no frills, <laughs> just plug them in and you don't hear a whole lot. It still allows you to these have a noise rating of 26 decibels. These are actually very good. They're very comfortable. Um, they're soft plastic, super comfortable, high visibility, green lanyard. So I can drape them around my neck. I'm gonna go ahead and untie these. And I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of these when I'm at an outdoor range or if I'm back home in North Carolina at my parents' house and we're behind the house just shooting and it's my brothers and I and we're just we're, we're talking I can pull these out hang them around my neck we can talk hey I bet you can't hit that can you know stuff like that and then I can you know put them in when it's time to go hot they do come in this this pack comes with a set of three and each and they come with a little pouch to keep them in so I even though a lot of the ranges I used to go to in Virginia were all indoor Great for indoor, great for outdoor, great for any range, unless you're heavy earring user, these can pinch. These are great for anywhere, very low cost. A set of these may run you anywhere from, depending on what color, because these do come in black, white, green, yellow, purple. These come in a variety of colors. Um, the Howard Le Leggett by Honeywell and these Average price is around 60 bucks, depending on which color you get. Whereas a set of these three, you get them for like $5. If you lose them, oh well. <laughs> but you shouldn't lose these. Now let's talk about eyes and what type of eye protection you want and when and where. So at DMV Arms, whenever you purchase your first gun, we do include a safety kit while supplies last. You get a, a bag for your ears, I mean for your eyes and your ears, and we do include a little molded set of push-in earplugs that, that come in the bag. So 
with your first gun purchase. If you buy multiple guns, you're only going to get one of these. <laughs> so, I have two different sets of glasses here. I have a yellow lens set and a clear lens set. Sunny days like today, if I'm on an outdoor range, more than likely, I'm going to use my yellow lenses because it cuts down on a lot of glare and it gives me it intensifies the colors uh, depending on what I'm shooting at. Some of my targets are reactive targets, whereas it'll be a black surface and when a bullet strikes the target, it'll turn greenish. These will allow me to see that green and that or that yellow, depending on how you see it from a further distance. So if I'm shooting at a 50 yard lane, I can hit it two or three times look down the range and I can actually see where I'm placing my target, make, placing my rounds on my target using these yellow tinted glasses. Um, they do, <laughs> I'm looking at the trees in the background and when I put them on, it's, <clears throat> the trees are more vibrant, it's a, a lot brighter green than with the standard. Now, indoor range, more than likely I'm gonna use my standard clear safety glasses. And the clear ones like these are what comes in your safety kit from DMV Arms with your first gun purchase while supplies last. So with these on indoor range, I'm not worried about the sun and the brightness and glare and UV and all that stuff. So inside, I'm usually gonna have these on. Outdoor, something like this, or I'll have on my prescription sunglasses that are polarized. So always make sure your eyes are protected when you're out shooting. Never go out there without um, proper ear and eye protection. Um, your ears, you can't get those back once they're gone. You know, once, once you start hearing that ringing, you ever hear that ring, you won't hear that tone that caused that ring ever again in life. So always protect yourself. Keep your ears and your eyes safe at all times. I have been lucky where I have not experienced a failure on the range where my ear, where my eye protection had to come into play, where um, maybe a squib load or anything happened to the gun where a gun malfunctioned and something came back towards my face. I've been very lucky in my decades of shooting that I've never had to experience that. But what I'm not gonna do is go out there without my eye protection, without my ear protection. So always make sure you have a good set of ears, a good set of eyes doesn't matter which style. I've seen some now that are like these, but they're active where they still push into your ear. Like the Bluetooth that you that used to be out. The LG made a Bluetooth that would go around your neck and you could plug them in. That's what the new, I've seen some active um, noise canceling headphones in that fashion as well. I have not used them. I don't know anything about them. I do think I'm gonna get a set just to test them out to see how they work. But what you can't do, you can't go wrong with old cheap faithful right here. And you can't go wrong with a good set, a good set of active noise canceling headphones. Eye protection, ear protection. Always stay safe. Remember the gun is always loaded until you physically check it. Have a great day.